Hey Run Junkies, welcome back to Runners Without Limits TV. Now that spring race season is over and fall training is still in its early stages, this is a good time to take a look back at our training, find out what worked and what didn't, and hopefully carry some lessons learned into the next phase of our running journey. So today, let's talk about how and why you should do your own post-training breakdown. One of the best things about technology is how much data we can track should we choose to. From heart rate to cadence to pace, we have a lot of numbers at our fingertips. We might also be able to get something out of more personal touches as well. So keeping notes in your training log, that allows you to record what workouts you liked or what didn't go so well, what nutrition you used during your runs, and any physical issues that might be popping up. Taking all of that information might feel like a lot, but here's why we ought to do this. The running journey is never perfect. And we have bad runs, we have good runs. We might do really well on the strength training or maybe we weren't as consistent as we would have liked. When we look at the training against the goals that we set for ourselves, and the actual race day results, and we compare and contrast everything, we might see a pattern emerge from the numbers. We can then take that pattern and apply it to the decisions we make next time around. When we take the lessons learned from past performance, we may train better and perform better next time. It also allows us to look at how our training fits in with our lives. If we're going through a particularly tough or stressful time, our performance may suffer. We find we're more self-aware of how our day-to-day -day lives affect the outcome of our training. So how do we do this? How do we analyze our training cycle to get useful information? Well, it's a series of questions that you might wanna take a little time with. What were the goals you set originally? And what happened when race day came? Did you meet your goals? Did you miss the mark? Maybe you lost interest in the goal entirely or decided later on in the training to just enjoy your race day. If you collect data metrics like pace, heart rate, power, and so on, you might see how the numbers stack up. Did you improve over the course of the training cycle? Even if you didn't have a good race day, those training metrics may still show some kind of improvement. But then there's a more emotional and mental approach. How did it feel throughout the training cycle? How did your race day feel? Did you enjoy the training and feel like it was a healthy challenge? Or were you struggling just to hit the targets in training and on race day? Then we can look at how to take all of this going forward. Did you meet your goal? And if so, what is next for you? If you didn't meet your goal, is it a goal you still want? Or would you rather change direction and go after something different? This is a really good time to list strengths and weaknesses in order to figure out what needs work and what maybe you don't need to spend as much time on. Maybe you're the kind of runner who loves those long runs and would rather run all day than cut the run short to fit in some strength training. Or maybe you loved the speed work but frequently cut your longer runs short or ran them too fast. Basically, did your training meet your needs to achieve the goal you set? Now, when it comes to metrics, there are a lot of platforms out there that will give you much more information in some alphabet soup or another than you may know how to use. And that's okay. But looking at your calendar, your life circumstances during your training and the volume of training across disciplines will help you determine where you need to focus. Now, on a personal note, I love looking at graphics, at graphic representation of my training. And I get this from Training Peaks. I've recently shifted my running volume down quite a bit to between 50 and 60% of my total time volume. This ensures I'm getting in good strength and cross training time to support the running. It's just where I am in my life right now, in my running journey. Really reflect on your training cycle. What are you most proud of? Where did you get the most enjoyment out of your training or race day? Were you surprised by the results? What do you wish could have gone better? What were things you had control over or maybe you didn't? Basically, what were your victories? And what were the challenges? And what can you do to improve next time? Being a runner is never always easy and it's never ever perfect. We make mistakes, a lot of them, but we also nail it just as often. 
The bottom line is that by taking a look at your season, applying the lessons learned and looking ahead will help you set smarter goals for your future journey. My question for you today is this, do you look for takeaways from your training cycle as a way to help you gain confidence or maybe set better goals for yourself? Please leave thoughts, questions, comments, and suggestions for future videos in the comment section down below. Please like, subscribe, and tell your friends. That's gonna do it for me today, you guys. Thank you so much for watching. And until next time, remember you have no limits. Happy running.